Good morning everybody, it is Andrea, it is Monday, it is the 24th of May, I can't believe we're at the end of the month. Welcome to another weekly vlog. So, this afternoon I am going to Cardiff to pick up some items after I've got Jen and dropped her off back home. And once I get back I will show you what I've got. It's only some cameras, it's not a huge amount. It's going to be fun going through them though, I can't wait, I will show you them. Um, I'm just watching uh, Chelsea Jade Marie Colouring. Um, do her this or that tag too and see what it's about I'm doing some colouring at the same time which is nice and I'm just chilling um, a bit wheezy this morning but I'm all right but yeah I've got my last week I've got the weekly vlog up today which was very quick so that didn't take too long I'll probably put a flip through up as well tonight oh I've got a colouring book to print off from Ava Brown looks really cute I want to do some in that and I'm going to have to try and do some colouring this week, try and get some more bits done. Anyway, that's it for now, and I will see you in a little while after I get back from Cardiff. I'm out of breath. Um, I'm at the auction house. I'm outside the auction house. I've just picked up my stuff. Oh, it's really exciting. There's some great stuff in there. Some crap as well. Or some rubbish. There's a microscope. Not interested in that, but we'll see it. Have a look at it. But the cameras are looking great. I'm really liking them. I'm excited about these cameras, I tell you. So yeah, um, I'm going to go home and have a cup of tea and then uh, we'll have a look and see what they're like. I'm steaming up because it's boiling in this car. Um, yeah, I'll see you when I get back. Okay guys, it's Monday night, everybody's in bed, so um, I'm just watching some videos. I was going to do some filming tonight, but I've got to be honest, I've had a shower, I'm drying my hair and it's getting late, so it's not going to happen. So it will be tomorrow. So this is the bags of stuff I brought from the auction house, so with the total... The, the, the fees it was like 70 pound or five pence so and um, all of this needs testing first but i'm quite hopeful that it works so first of all there was a tiny camera bag do you know what it, it's in good enough condition you know it's not too bad i might keep that for myself just when we're on holiday because i don't take big cameras really huge cameras anymore but i think excuse the mess on the floor so the first thing i've got here is a rico flash now there is a rico camera in here so that's pretty cool might go with that again i need to test this to see if it works and then, oh, excuse me, so I'm, I'm sitting on the bed. There's another flash in here, which is actually bubble wrapped, so who knows. And this is just a Cobra 300 AFR dedicated autofocus flash. So this looks really new. It doesn't look like it's in bad condition at all. So I don't know what these sell for. I haven't really looked at the prices of anything. I will get my money back um, on two or three of the items, so... I don't know what's in what. So one of the things that's in here is, I haven't looked at this is a uh, microscope. Now, I'm not particularly interested in microscopes, but I will have a look at it and see if it's worth anything, but I'm, I'm not interested per se. We do have a 620 uh, box camera, so you can't get film for this anymore, but, and it is, it's in bad condition. It's not brilliant. I might try and clean it up a bit and just use it as a display piece because the front's all scratched up like that got a, a very big lens here so this is a let me just have a look does it say it's called a calimar auto lens and it's if i can get to it 60 to, to 300 i think i know it's not in in view completely i'm so, um, so sorry i'm just not used to doing it with these and so this one um has got a amount for uh i think it was a minolta i put it on but i'll show you when i get to that camera yeah here it is um this minolta it, it goes on it'll fit on this minolta because i put it on there and it, it does appear to be fine um so this is a minolta xe1 again i haven't uh tried looking at the prices yet of all of them so i don't know how much that's worth I have this one, which is a Mirai, Mir, Miri, Miri, Mirai um, Rico Zoom 38 to 135. It's a really bizarre camera, but to be fair, they have they they are quite good value. Um, so I just need to figure out. There is an instruction manual for this as well. I've got the manual, so that helps. It's a really weird looking camera, but they can sell for up to 30 quid so if that's working and i can get that sort of money for it 
at me days. Um, I've got a Practica MTL3. This one's in really nice condition. It's got a lens on the front as well. I've sold these before for around 25 quid. So, fingers crossed, that's what it'll go for. Excuse my hand in front of the camera. What else have we got in here? We've got a, a Canon, a T50. I don't know if this works. I'm gonna have to put batteries in it and find out. It has got a lens on it. It's not a Canon lens, it's an Orion lens. So I do need to have a look. I mean, I will use a site called Buckus. Um, this is a guy who has put on lots and lots of manuals. You can pretty much find anything on there, uh, camera-wise. And this is a Kodak 8mm film camera. So it's a moving pitch camera. I'm not going to take it out of this case because it's awkward. Um, so it's a Brownie 8 made in England. Now you can get 8mm film, I believe they started making it again. So that's in the one bag. And then I've got another bag here. And in this one, I've got another box camera. If I can get the damn thing open. There we go. And this one, this is so cute. This one's in better condition. Not not brilliant, but better. And it is a Ballora box. Now, as you can see, the, the leatherette, fake leatherette's coming off. But it looks, it looks better. It's quite nice. Made in Germany. Um, I haven't tried to get it open yet. I don't know how to get it open. I don't know anything about this one. But I, I, I do like the Art Deco style on the front. And it does have its um, case. It hasn't got the strap. The strap's broken off. I have got a, a Vivitar 6000V. It's a nice feeling camera, actually. It feels nice in the hand. No, there's no film in any of these cameras, sadly. It's got a Canon lens cap on it for some reason, but hey. Um, but it is a Vivita lens, so that's cool. Um, I might give that one a try. I like the feel of that one. And what else have we got? I've got another lens in here. This is a, another huge lens. But this one says Miranda. I'm just going to check. Yep, yeah, it is a Miranda. I just need to figure out which lens mount it is. Because I haven't got a clue. I haven't really looked at it yet. So I don't know, I haven't taken the, the cap bottom off, so I will have a look at it. But it's a nice, nice, uh, nice lens. Looks like it's, uh, it feels like it, these things, the newer stuff, like the T50, the Practica, and so on, they, they feel hardly used, some of them. So, and that one's got a case as well, which is nice. It's got a hard case. You can't see it because I'm not showing you the hard case for it. Then there's this sort of um, mount thing to put flashes on. No idea. Never seen one. And there's a, an empty uh, Nikon case there. <laughs> They're always handy to have. And this one is so sweet. It's an Enzyme full view camera. Now, I haven't got it open yet. Um, but I have been looking. Apparently, the side comes out. It's supposed to it either take 620 or 120 film. So I'll have a look. If it's 120, it'll be fun to use. It's called a full view because it's got this big viewer here that you can see through it needs a good clean uh, and you see through this one so it's like a TLR but I think that's just so cute so yeah so that's all the cameras I got so as you can see I'm in the process of drying my hair and you can see how long it's got because there's the roots and there's the color um I will try and film tomorrow I was gonna do it tonight I'm just too tired um absolutely shattered but that's all the running around going to places like Cardiff I'm not used to it but yeah, I'm really pleased. I know I'm going to make my money back. I know I'm going to make a bit more than my money back. I've just got to uh, work on it. I have had a sale today. I sold a camera today. I sold a Canon uh, body. So that's cool. Uh, that's another one out. I'm, I'm happy with that. I, you know, I, I like selling cameras. I test them. They work. I sell them. It's that simple. So Yeah, I'm going to put this lot away. Although I am going to play with the end sign because I think it's cute. And watch a bit of youtube and dry my hair and then oh my god i look tired look at me i'm all puffy and then i'm getting some sleep now tomorrow i have my second covid jab so i don't know what state i'm going to be in tomorrow afternoon i should be fine because most people are fine after the second jab they get it on the first however i do have a friend who was a bit poorly afterwards not not as bad as they were with the first one but they'd still weren't 100 percent, so we'll have to see paul's already warned work that i'm having it done um he's having jennifer while i go and get it done and then i'll just see how i feel hopefully i'll be fine and if so i will be coloring like mad tomorrow night 
I will be coloring a little bit tonight because I'm trying to finish off um, a Hannah Carlson, yeah, Hannah Carlson for the, the end of the month. And we are rapidly approaching, I've hardly read anything this month, so the wrap up is going to be really low. Like I said, I start up here and I, I go, phew, and then it gets to the middle of the year and it goes, phew, phew, because the weather's nice, I'm out and about doing stuff, and I'm not home. But I'm still going to make my target. I'm, I know I'm going to. I've got two books to read on my holiday. That'll be easily done. The rest will be done on my Kindle app. Um, I've just been lazy with the reading. I don't know why. Sometimes I'm going to have to have a go. Maybe if I need to sit in the car park tomorrow for a few minutes after the jab, I might uh, just take the book with me and read it. Anyway, that's it for today. Um, I'll see you tomorrow um, when we'll do Tuesday. Bye, guys. Hi everybody, it is Tuesday morning, it's the 25th, it's vaccination day, so the second dose today. I'll let you know that goes later, but it's work first, I'm just sitting on the bed having a cup of tea before I start. Um, I've got a bit of time, not a lot, but a little bit, so just getting everything set up. A bit sniffly. <sighs> of course, Jennifer gets a cold, everybody in the house gets it, but uh, especially me. But it's okay, we're just uh, going to get on with the day, and I will uh, see you when I finish work and vibrate and something's going on. Don't know what. Don't much care. Yeah, so I'll see you after work. Bye. Finished work and picked up the little one. Hello. And Dad's neighbour made her a cake like this. And she also sent down a little bit of sponge, some frosting and some decorations for us to decorate the other cake. So we're going to do that now. Do you want to get a chair, Jen? Do you want to pull that chair around and we'll decorate this cake? That's it. Mm, yum, 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 yum. Look yum, at that. Yum, yum. Put on as much as you want, Jen. Let me hold this up for you. So use the spoon to scoop it out. Okay. Like you would ice cream out of the jar. That's yummy. Look at all that frosting. Mm. You just need to spread it around on the cake a bit, that's all. It's on me. It's on you? Yeah. All right. So aren't they? You can eat some of them as well, Jen, if you don't want to just put them on. I just put it there. You put it wherever you want to. It's your cake. It's my cake. Mmm. One. Two. That's three you've got on there now, look. There. Oh, actually, you've got two there, so it's five. Oh, five. Do you want to put on some white buttons? Yeah. Yeah. Two. Oh, there's a burger there. There's a burger there. Okay. Yeah. Oh, very nice. And we got some mini eggs as well. Can I put those on? On. One's ready. We can eat that one. So, is that all you're putting on your cake? Shall we have a look? Yeah. Oh, yummy. That looks nice. Can we eat them first? We can eat them now. Though, I don't think we need to eat them right now. No. Because we, we just had some food, haven't we? Yeah. We'll have some later on, won't we? Daddy? We got my bath again. Oh dear. We, bath again. Uh, we got her some Peppa Pig bath. All oh, right, yeah, good one. Bubble bath, because she we likes that. It. We did. I bought it today in the chemist, didn't I, when I went in there to get something for um, Grandad? We need to eat it. You need to eat some cake? Mm -hmm. Do you want to eat this one or this one? Um, this one. Okay, Mummy, go get a knife then. Okay, I'm at the surgery now. It is that time. It's time for COVID jab number two. So I've got a few minutes, but uh, I've got to get my stuff together. So yeah, let's see how we get on with it this time. Now, it shouldn't be as bad. That's what I've heard. But I also remember, know somebody who did still get a bad headache, very tired, etc, etc. So we'll find out and I'll, I'll let you know how I get on. 
Okay, it is Tuesday night. Um, Jennifer's in bed. I'm actually upstairs in the spare room watching some videos at the moment. I don't feel as bad as last time. I feel tired and I feel a bit sick, but I haven't got a headache like I had last time, which is fantastic. So I'm going to see how it goes. I should be fine. I feel much better than I did previously. So yeah, like last time I had a stinking headache, felt sick, had temperature, was absolutely exhausted. I was really tired this afternoon. I did have a quick an hour's sleep like it, it was really hard to get out of bed then i managed it had some dinner um a few hours ago and i just feel a bit under the weather so i'm gonna hit the hay i was gonna do a coloring video um but yeah i'm not because I'm, i just don't feel very well so i'm gonna try and get an early night and then hopefully it'll be uh fine for work tomorrow and filming and stuff i've got a lot of filming time tomorrow because there's football on tomorrow night so paul will be watching that so i should come on crack on get a couple of videos filmed do some eBay stuff, um, tax my car, and then watch a movie. So I will see you in the morning. So, yeah, it's not as bad as it was last time, which is a relief. So I'll see you soon. Bye. Hey, everyone, it's Thursday evening. Um, Jennifer's in bed for the third or fourth time, trying to get her to sleep for ages. She just keeps getting up for various reasons. Um, hopefully she's in bed now. I haven't vlogged today, I've not been feeling 100% so I'm a bit flushed, <laughs> but I've not been feeling too bad, I've just been feeling really tired, a bit groggy, uh, my arm's a bit itchy, I wouldn't say it's sore, so if you touch it and there's, it's got a raised red lump on it, but other than that I'm fine and I'm not worried, I'm going to finally do my colour and chat and try and get it up before bedtime, so I'm going to do that next, I've just got to pay my car tax before I forget, because I will forget and then it won't get done and I'll be in trouble with the law, so I am just going to log into the government website. <sighs> Pay my car tax. Because that's fun, isn't it? More money. But it's got to be done. I got the money saved. So I'll see you in a bit and I'll show you uh, what else I've got to do tonight before I go to bed. I'm not photographing. I was going to photograph. But I've got some to list. I'm going to list some after I've done this. And I'm going to watch a movie. And I'll tell you all about that in a minute. I have finished my filming, I'm going to edit it together now and I've just put on China Seas, it is a Region 1 disc but it's working so that's cool, that means I can buy Region 1 discs without any worries because it works, I'm so happy, I love this movie and I haven't seen it for so long, I'm so excited, I love Jean Harlow in this film, yay, let's see if we can see her, oh he's Clark Gable, love I love Clark Gable, he's one of my favourites. Isn't she beautiful? I love Jean Harlow. She's just so beautiful. Um, I'm going to have to do a big feature on her on the, the uh, Beyond Hollywood. Well, Hollywood and Beyond when I do it. Um, oh, she's one of my favourites. They could have watched her for hours. Anyway, but yeah, uh, yeah, I, th I just thought that would be nice. I love her entrance. In this. I love this film. It's just so funny. I've been laughing since it started. So check it out. China Seas. If you have Amazon Prime, you can rent or buy it from Amazon Prime. I just prefer my media to be tangible in most cases. Although I will buy films from Prime. I haven't got a problem with that. But uh, I think it's a film I love like this. I want, I want a copy. Anyway, that's it. And I'll, uh, I'm going to see you tomorrow. I'm going to crack on and do some more bits. Bye. Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday morning, the 20 something. 27th of May. And I'm shattered, which is why I can't remember what the date is because Jennifer had me up in the night at 2 o'clock and 3 o'clock for a cuddle. And then at 4 o'clock, she wanted to come into bed with me and sleep. Um, and she was kicking off big time. So I think she had had a nightmare. So. She came in and then she wouldn't go to sleep for ages. So I've had hardly any sleep again. Joy. Probably about three hours. 
because when she comes into bed I can't sleep because she's chattering away for a while eventually she does doze off and I'm like oh, all right and there's something up so I'm not going to be in a good mood today but I'll do my best anyway so plans for today I obviously get through work pick Jennifer up pop and see granddad and nana and then we will come home and I will be hopefully try and get out in the garden do some cutting out there because it's so nice and it might make me feel a bit better i've got two orders to pack so we will go and do that and then tonight i'm going to do some photographing as well as some coloring i have um i'm currently uploading my coloring chat and yeah that's about it really but at least i got a plan i did list three things last night i'll list three more tonight and then tomorrow i'll have six so i can just do whatever i feel like so probably just be threes going on with Till I can get enough done. I'm so tired. Anyway, I'll see you after I finish work. Are you blowing bubbles? Yeah. I know. That's it. You dip it in again, darling. Woo! Well done. It's a lovely sunny day out here, isn't it, Granddad? Yeah, that's all right. I'm here. I always sit on the floor. Pop, 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 pop the bubbles. It's too high for you. You're gonna blow some more. In and out. That's right. Don't keep pulling it in. Just take it out. I don't mind if she does. I got it. So we're sitting out in the garden, aren't we, Jen? We've just had our tea. And Jennifer's playing with a little train and all the little toys. I've packed two orders. I haven't addressed them because I haven't got any paper up here to do it with. So I'll just mark what they are. And I'll do it when I get home. And, yeah, so, well, when I get home. When we go back in. Um, try and do some listing tonight. And just sent some offers out. Just chilling. Just chilling, isn't we, Jen? Yeah. Nice, isn't it? She's got a very dirty face. I don't know what you've been up to today, but you're filthy. You look like you've been up a chimney. Yeah. Yeah, gorgeous. you gorgeous. What have oh. you got? Is that a pig? Yeah. Oh, cool. Ah, yeah, so just chilling out. My battery's about to go, so we'll uh, yeah. see you later. You can see Jennifer stuck her head in the way. I <laughs> haven't been vlogging, but I've been busy. No, I'm filming. She always wants everything. So we're at the pub for fish, fish, fish and chips Friday. Yay! Um, yes, yeah, so it's not the best day, but it's not too bad. It's not raining now. It was earlier, and of course it's a bank holiday weekend, which is fantastic. Um, I've downloaded a couple of coloring books, and Jennifer is putting her muddy feet on my white trousers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'll be back in a minute. Hey guys, so I'm back now with. Um, I really enjoyed the fish and chips up at the, the Prince. It was absolutely brilliant. Sorry, my throat is really sore. I'm losing my voice. I'm back home now. We sat in the garden for a bit, which was nice. Had a drink. It's not got much past seven, and I am actually upstairs in bed. I'm feeling a little bit the worse wear, a little bit ill, a sore throat and a cold. I'm, I can, I've not got a cough. If everyone knows, I can still smell, I can still taste, which is great. So that's fine. I don't think it's COVID. It might be COVID related uh, because of the jab, because those effects can last up to a fortnight and you can get flu-like symptoms. My lips look really pink. <clears throat> anyway, so I've been colouring this picture today, which is from Ava Brown's Gnoming Around the World. Because obviously I like Egypt and stuff like that, so I thought I'd do that one. Um, I've printed out... Uh, a secret village main street and some what other ones was it there was some Deborah Muller pictures and some colour chart sheets now these are yam puffs but I've just scanned them and printed them up I've got the book decided I don't just want the books I want loose ones as well so that when I go on holiday I can take whichever ones I'm taking with me so I'm going to do the Ohuhu markers and the pastel markers, possibly tonight, possibly tomorrow. And I need to sort out my Black Widows. It appears I'm missing one Black Widow from my main box. So I'll see if I can find um, the replacement in uh, the other tin. So with the Black Widows, I don't mind buying a full set to replace them because I know I'm going to use them all. So 
it's, they're cheap enough, so I'm not worried. Um, that's it. I'll let you know how I get on before I go to bed, which is going to be about half an hour, I expect. It won't be long. I'm just watching Max Stevens. I buy old records. So it's Saturday afternoon, isn't it, Jennifer? We're out. Where are we? We're at Tiny Rebel having some chips again. Mm? I'm not sure. I'll look in a minute. Yes. So it's Tiny Rebel. Which is uh, part of the old market building, or the end of the market building. And uh, yeah, so we've got some chips, we've done some shopping, bought Jennifer an expensive colouring book. Because it's superheroes and she's a bit mad about them at the moment. So she's got Batman hats and bought some new shoes. So she's got Spider-Man shoes. So yeah, and uh, see you in a bit. Back home now and they're playing with ball that Daddy got in the works. She's already fallen over once since we've been home. She's got lovely new shoes on. Spider-Man ones. And uh, we got this uh, Marvel colouring book, which is £6, which is a bit much for a kid that just does that, but she enjoys herself, so. I've ordered her one from, it was just Spider-Man. Also, doing time from the works. And little tiny, I love rainbows, colouring book for me. Oh, and some scribblicious pens. But you'll see them again in my hall. I'm boiling. I've just had tea. Still could get the washing down, but it's not rained at all all day, I don't think. So it's chicken tikka masala out of the jar for tea tonight. One, two, and Jennifer's just down there. She's just in the bathroom with Daddy. And uh, yes, I'm going to get started while I wait for them. Hopefully they won't be long because I'm starving. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay. I'm upstairs trying to do a little bit of colouring admin. By that I mean uh, sorting out my PDFs, finishing off a whip, having a bit of a colouring tidy up. It's a right state in here, doing some swatches. Um, I've got to tidy up in here tomorrow. It's disgusting. It's such a mess in this spare colouring room. Um, Jennifer was in bed, but she decided to want to go and watch the football with her dad instead. So it's a bank holiday weekend, so it's not like she's got to go anywhere tomorrow other than shopping. And on Monday, it's bank holiday, so she can, yeah. So yeah, I'm just finishing off a couple of pictures that I've got um, and doing a bit of swatching. That's going to take me a while because I've already swatched everything. But I'm just swatching it onto new, a different type of paper and in a way I can carry it around with me. I do need to get a new folder. I need more poly holders, uh, A4 poly holders. I can get them in Tesco tomorrow or I can order them by the hundred in, from Amazon, I would imagine. But uh, yeah, I just need a, a plain black folder if I can get one. I use the... A4 lever arch files, so they're the nice thick ones. They used to have them at school. Ooh. That's what the only thing I really liked about school was stationery. I can't wait for when Jennifer needs to buy things for school. I know they use tablets and stuff a lot, which is gutting, but there's still nothing like having a pen and pencil ca pencil case with pens and rulers and 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 you know and little notepads and A4 binders for writing in. I was just looking at my grey. Yep, it's grey. I love it. I do. I really love stationery. I'm st I am a stationery fiend. Um, but I really like the paper I'm getting my pictures printed out on now. It's got a little tiny bit of tooth, so the paper before was really, really smooth. Um, it was hard to colour with pencils on them, easy with markers, and markers went on like a dream. But the paper I've got now is good for paper for pencils and markers, so I'm happy with that. So... I'm sticking with that, and that's Xerox, actually. It's Xerox uh, 160. It's really nice. And I've got it on subscription, so every two months I get a, a ream. I might need more, but, you know, if I do, I do. Um, yeah, so I'm just doing this bit of admin, and then hopefully I'll get Jennifer back to bed, and then I might read for a bit, because I've hardly read anything this month. Um, physically, it's just been a month when I haven't. I haven't done a huge amount of colouring either. I don't know what I've been up to. Hmm. Anyway, uh, that's it for tonight. I will see you tomorrow. It is Sunday. We might go to the pub. Yeah, we, we might do. We might do. Oh, I look so tired. My eyes look green. Really green. I'm sorry. I probably scared you kids then. Uh, anyway, that's it for tonight. I will see you tomorrow. Oh, I can't believe it's the end of the week. 
And this is another weekly vlog that is almost at an end and we'll do it all again. As you might have noticed, I still haven't found my camera. So, hmm. I'll have a good tidy up in here, see if it's in here. But I don't think it is. But hey, you never know. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Sunday afternoon. It's hot. And we're at the pub. Dad's complaining about the QR code, which is understandable because they are difficult to use. And uh, he hasn't got a, a smart card, so a uh, phone thingy. But yeah, yeah, there you go. A little bit wheezy. They've left me an alien at home, so I'll probably only have one and I'll go home. Jennifer's here, she's happy. Ish. I'll show you now. A minute. And there's Jennifer. And there's Grandad. And there's Paul. All having beers. Except for Jennifer, who's got Diet Coke. Sensible girl. <laughs> no? Apparently, she won't let Paul go. I was abandoned. Um, and Paul has been told he's supposed to go with Grandad if they go for a walk up the canal in case Jen runs off. But uh, Jen won't let him go, apparently. But I have got a colouring book, so but I, I won't need it if Paul's here, yes, which will. is good. Oh, apparently I will. Because I'm not interested in pushing colours. Oh, you are interesting. Don't say that. Honestly, what's he like? Not bringing him out again. He hasn't had enough to drink yet. He's only on his second. Sunday evening and Jennifer's in bed. I'm up in bed. I'm going to read for a bit. I pulled around somewhere. And I'm just tired. It's been a lovely day. We had a lovely afternoon at the pub and stuff. Just so hot. So I don't do well in the heat. I like the summer. I like to be able to get outside, but I get rushes. I don't know if I've got one. If you can see it. It's not come up yet, but it will because it's itching. All my hands and arms get bumps, heat rash, and I uh, just hate it. But I don't like the sweating. But, uh... When it gets hot and we have a long space of it and we can put the swimming pool, the paddling pool thing out. I can just get in that when I'm hot. I love it. <laughs> it's not too bad. It's been a nice, nice day. We've got another day off before work and then it'll be June. And hopefully we'll have a holiday at some point in the next few months. We'll have to wait and see what happens, but I'll let you know about that. Obviously, I'll see you soon. We'll do this all again next week. Bye.